Good morning everybody, how are we today? I hope you're all well and I hope you're ready for a little dose of crafting with me. I'm Belinda and this is Visualised NZ. So this is what I made in week 14 of Roxy's Weekly Challenge, uh, making foam stamps. Some of these I made off camera, uh, using up the scraps of the foam once I'd turned off the camera. So I can't remember which ones I made on camera and which I didn't. I kind of remember, but not totally. So I'm just going to pretend that they were all made in that session. And I'm going to use them today. Now, Rachel, in week 15 of her challenge, used her stamps that she made on her jelly plate. And I love using these on a jelly plate. I have a set that's reserved just for my jelly plate, but these I wanted to reserve for actual ink stamping. Um, because I didn't have any that were just for ink stamping. So I'm going to do something a little different to what Rachel did. And I'm going to grab out some serviette backings. Or one to start with. And I'm going to create some decoupage paper, I guess. Or decoupage tissue. Napkin, serviette, whatever you want to call it. Using the stamps. Now, I haven't tried this. I don't know why it wouldn't work, so I'm just going to go with it. And I'm going to create just random sort of patterns on here because it's going to be torn up. So this will count towards my 100 day project as well, which I'm making collage fodder for. So gotta love when I can hit uh, two, two prompts or two things I need to get done in the same space of time. So I'm just going to grab this. I know I definitely made this one off camera as the little holes I had left over from punching out this one, which I did do on camera. So I'm just going to ink it up and I'm choosing to start off with coffee coloured Ranger Archiver link um, because I do like the vintage aesthetic. So I thought going with a brown is probably a good, good thing to layer up on my ephemera that I make or whatever it might be a journal page or um, you know anywhere that you want to use some collage papers and I'm loving this so far I do have a scrap bit of paper underneath because this is so thin that ink will go through so if you're going to do this make sure you have something underneath to catch that ink I'm not going to do the whole thing with the same stamp because I think that would be quite boring to watch and I think quite boring for me to do as well. And I'm mixing up the direction as well just to so it's not like too repetitive. Fun. I'm loving how this looks though. Awesome. Okay, let's try something else. Um, I'll just give this wee stamp off underneath there. Oh, I could have done that on a serviette. There was a lot of ink still on it. Never mind. Too late now. Um, what shall we use next? Maybe we'll use triangles. Let's try the triangles. It's a little bit more to ink it up because it's longer. Hopefully I've put enough on there. And this is a good way to test them all out too because they don't need to be stamped perfectly. We're just looking for texture, for visual interest, not perfect stamping that's going to be a focal point on anything at all. Okay. And simple shapes can often be the best useful shapes like triangles and circles because they go anywhere with anything. As do botanicals as well. Now you can't go wrong with botanicals. Right, can I get any ink off this one? And I'm not even going to worry if the stamps overlap because that's just added texture. 
So we're making our own art paper. That's effectively what this is doing. Another good way to make something with things that you have rather than buying expensive papers. Okay. I think I just want a few more dots in this we get here. So I'm going to overlap with the triangles like so and just got a wee crinkle here in my napkin just trying to flatten it out a little bit oh my phone's busy dinging that's probably my husband letting me know whether we're having a guest for dinner or not tonight okay this is just a, a funny wee scrap from cutting out the leaves and I thought well why not why not use it? Stick it on a bit of cardboard and just adds a bit of shape. Interesting shape. Unexpected shape. Bit of fun to play with. So let me know how you're all doing. Who's participating in Roxy's Weekly Challenge? Anyone doing it along with me? Or along with Rachel, I should say, not along with me. But maybe you are doing it with me right now. Whether it's making stamps or stamping or doing something crafty. It's always good to do it with company, isn't it? It's a very solitary activity, crafting. Quite often we get locked away in our little spaces or big spaces, depending what space you've got. And just getting lost in the world of creating. I think that's why it's such a successful community online because we do seek that connection of uh, one with people who like doing the things that we do and we're always looking for fresh inspiration. But because it's so solitary, we, we do have a need to connect with people from time to time. Even if you're an introvert like me, we still need that people time. So I think that's why junk journaling in particular is really huge on the internet <clears throat> please excuse me and voice disappearing just take another wee sip of my coffee now it is that time of year autumn where it's getting colder in the mornings and you get that sort of morning thing happening with your voice and I think that's all it is at the moment. Although lately I have been getting quite froggy. So I don't know. Just random. Random, random. Such is life. So if you missed the video where I made these stamps. It is in my playlist for Roxy's Weekly Challenge. Uh, it was week 14, this is week 15, and week 16 is now out, so I'm a little bit behind, but that's okay. I'm not in a rush to get them done or anything. Okay, let's swing this around just so it's easier to work with. We're filling it up really nicely. And let's go, what shall we use next? This fun pattern. I just want to play with these really and then if we have time I might use a bit on something so hopefully I'll leave enough time for that so we can have a bit of a play using it so you can see an application not just me making this and then wondering how on earth you would ever use it because that can sometimes be half the battle is actually how to use these things Oops, sorry, I'm pressing on the desk and it's making things rattle in my pen container. So, sorry if you can hear that, but it's just the crafting life. Right, can I get a print off that? Faint one, but it's there. In the jelly printing world, you'd call that a ghost print. So, and I quite like ghost prints. They're often very pretty because they're more subtle. 
so maybe we'll go again using the ink too is a good thing not wasting the ink loving that let's do some up this way I think rattle 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 so I'm filming this on Thursday because I'm out tomorrow which is Friday and this will air on Friday um, I've got quite a busy day actually a busy social day like I was talking about before you know we need to connect with actual people every now and then um, so in the morning at 9 30 in the morning so super early I'm meeting up with a couple of friends that I haven't seen for months and we're going out for coffee which is really lovely it was supposed to be two or three weeks ago and it just kept getting put off because one or other of us couldn't make it first it was me then it was someone else and so now we're actually getting together tomorrow for coffee and then I'll have to scoot away from that fairly promptly I've got a family lunch in the next town over from where we're having coffee it's only like five minute drive between so it's you know not huge place a uh, huge distance um, to go to the family lunch so that will be lovely it happens once a month at the end of the month so really nice to do that catch up with my mum and cousins and others that I don't know quite so well but you know in going to these lunches there will be relationships built with the wider family and then of course because I'm going out I need to go to hubby's work with him uh, so I can use the car so I'll be leaving home with him about, normally it's around between half past seven and quarter to eight in the morning. Um, so it'll be an early start, we'll be up at six and yeah, so big day tomorrow, that's why I have to film ahead. And then there might be a function tomorrow night, I'm not sure yet, not sure, uh, we shall see. So possibly dinner tonight with um, one of hubby's workmates might be coming around to have dinner with us which is what I think those dings on my phone were that it was him letting me know whether he's coming or not um, so that's tonight so it's a busy old time and then Saturday we're going out for dinner to another friend's place so lots happening on the old social calendar in the next few uh, what 48 hours I guess Right, let's give this one a break. I've been quite happily just stamping that one. Let's add some butterflies because we've got very abstract. Or should we continue with abstract? Maybe we'll continue and do this all abstract. So let's go with these, I don't know, parallelograms maybe. Although they're hardly parallel. They're kind of parallel. Um, these interesting offcut shapes. Let's just say that. They're kind of just bits that were left over and I thought well they're kind of cute let's just use them and so I glued them on a bit of card and here we go so I think I'll come back to some of those first ones that I used over there so that they're in different orders different places so when I tear it I get little bits of different things in fact I want to do some spots over here Let's do some spots. I might have to make a bigger one of these because I really like it and it would be cool to do a bigger area all at once. It would just save a bit of time, wouldn't it, doing a, a wider area. So I'm just building, building my tissue here so we might just do this one and then grab out something and use it on um, because you kind of seeing what I'm doing you don't need to see me do like tons of these uh, but I think I will do more off camera because I'm actually finding it quite relaxing as well just randomly stamping with no pressure no expectation um, no we've just done that one so let's where's the triangles right up the top so 
So if you're in that space where you're kind of in a bit of a funk, don't know what to do, this is a great idea. One is make some stamps. Or two, grab out your stamps, whether they're ones you've made or they're ones you've bought, doesn't matter, any stamps, and just stamp up some tissue or some serviette. This is serviette, not tissue. Um, and just have a play. Just create random bits that you can tear up and use when you do feel like making something uh, like a journal card or whatever. It's nice to have those fallback activities to do and often I find if you start doing something like this it starts that creative spark going in your brain where you think oh what if I did this or what if I did this or oh I could use it on that. Um, that's what I find anyway, it kind of just sparks that, that creative, once you get going, you know, sometimes it's hard to get going, but then once you get going, your brain kicks into gear and goes, ooh, what if, what about, how about, all those wonderful things that inspiration is. And of course, there's always YouTube for a good dose of inspiration as well. Okay, let's put some more dotties in. Right, what else have we got? Maybe some of these arches. They'll take up a good amount of space. Trying to position it. Cool. It's got a little bit of the black ink still on it, so it's stamping darker, which I don't mind at all. Another way to vary it. You could totally do whatever colour you like. Um, I want to do some in colours, like bright colours. I did actually grab out my uh, Tangelo Twist stamping up pad because I thought that might be quite nice. Um, so I will go on and do some fun colour ones as well, but most likely off camera. Right, if I can position that, so the triangle's in the middle arch, maybe. Not too bad. It never would have worked totally because the arch isn't wide enough. Gee, still getting black off of it. So the foam does hold the ink quite well. Um, maybe go up this way. Yeah, I matched that almost perfectly. In fact, if the um, ends of the arches had been the same width, it probably would have been perfect, which is like mind-blowingly amazing that that even had a hint of actually happening. I'm going to go across there, overlap them. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, use a bit more of this. And then, of course, when you build this and then you have a look and you go, oh, there's a gap there, there's a gap there. You know, you can go in and stamp over top and just fill those gaps in. It almost makes a circle there. So sometimes stopping is the hardest part. It's like knowing when enough is enough. And it's up to you. It's enough when you think it's enough. If you don't think it's enough, you just keep on going. They give you complete license to go as much as you like. Keep adding until you are satisfied. Right, 
how's it look on the back oh look at that on the back so you could use either side you don't even need to worry about which sides up or down because it looks great on both sides and, and not a lot is actually transferring through to my back paper which I'm actually quite surprised about Let's go some more dots. Finish off this corner. Yeah, so I've got a busy, busy uh, forty-eight-ish hours coming up. How's your next forty-eight hours looking? Is it out of control? Is it looking fun? Is it looking normal? Just your normal activities, normal things happening. Which is fine too. Most of my life is just normal. <laughs> Carrying on, doing my thing. Um, and then I get these little periods like this coming up time where things just sort of stack up and end up happening all around the same time. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm just going to one put the lid on my ink so it doesn't dry out. Would be a good idea. Stamp this off on my backing sheet, get as much of that ink off as possible so it just builds up this fun paper to use in things. And let's do that with all the stamps that I've used. So I'm going to put the ones I didn't use in my bin. Um, didn't use those ones. Actually didn't use, maybe used about half of the stamps I'd made. I didn't use any of the botanical ones which is interesting that's okay I can do that in the next one that I do now you can if you wanted to uh, probably not so much on the serviette but if you were doing this on regular copy paper or on a bit of scrapbook paper or craft paper or something uh, you can totally come in and doodle so doodle around the different shapes um, add some marks you could do dress it up however you like Turn it into its own little art piece, which you can either put in your art journal or still tear up for collage. I'll grab out one I did um, for the 100 day project and show you, um, because I did do one with these stamps, a page for the 100 day project. So I'll just finish cleaning this one off. Gosh, there's a lot of ink on this stamp. That black is still coming through. And still coming through quite strongly. Right, that'll do. That'll do. I'm not going to spend all day. Um, right, let me grab out. I believe it's in my book here. Um, I thought. Or no, 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 no. Did I do it on brown paper? Maybe I did it on brown paper. No, I did it on yellow paper. Gosh, memory's going. So this is uh, just a sheet of coloured copy paper, which I stamped one of my stamps on. And then I just did a really loose outline twice around each shape. And I love that. I think that's really cool. So you could do something like that as well as another idea for using your stamps. If you need ideas you've probably got plenty of your own ideas right so let's play with this clear off some of the stuff give myself room and I thought the printables I have from Tatty Treasure uh, from her patreon um, there's these more plainer tags here they've got lovely patterns on but there's no focal point or anything like that so I thought maybe I could play with these and I really enjoy having the planer tags to work with because it gives you like free reign to go to town and decorate them however you would like so I'm just going to trim down a bit because I want to back them 
and I think I'm just going to back them and decorate them or put the serviette on all together without cutting them apart. But I don't want to do excess so that's why I'm just trimming around the outside edges. Right, so let's grab some backing paper first. I think this was big enough. This is a bit of brown packing paper, so it's quite stiff paper. And yes, we have enough, plenty of room there. I'm just going to trim, trim it down there. Just makes it easier to work with. Right, and let's get some glue happening. Now, hopefully the glue sticks all right to this. Actually, this side's slightly smoother, so I'll stick it to the smoother side. I'm hoping that the, I can always go in with the tacky glue and put the nozzle edge under the edge of the paper if it lifts along the edge. Uh, but hopefully it sticks down nicely for me. I'm going to put a good coating of glue on. Oops, I've got a blank spot right down there. I could see when I got it into the light. Give it a good press down. It's going to help it stick. And then I do like to go in on the other side. And that way you're not worried about sort of running into the edges and lifting it when you're pressing it down. And getting any bubbles out on the back that you might have accidentally captured. Right. So I'm just going to trim off this bit here, again just to make it easier to work with. Right, now I'm just going to check how I want to do this. Do I want to do the whole thing? think I am going to tr I don't know if this is this will work so let's just go for it I'm going to randomly put glue sort of in places just ran it all along and then I'm going to lay my tissue down and I want to get some texture so I'm trying to sort of bunch it up and I'm not sure where the glue is because I was very random with it so it's wherever it sticks is where it's going to be and whether it's got crinkles in it or not that's okay it's just I quite enjoy crinkles so I'm trying to get some crinkles in there okay oops stuck to my glue page a little bit okay and now oh should I wait for that glue to really stick on there before I try tearing it. That might be a good idea. How about we just cut around the edge. Again, just making things a little bit easier to work with. Just going in where I know there's no glue so we're not wasting our serviette. Heaps of bits to use. Okay. Now let's try and tear. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous about this, guys. I can go in with more glue stick, though, and catch the edges, which I will need to do. 
um, where it's I haven't torn it right to the glue So there's probably better ways to doing this, but I just wanted to do this because it, in my brain at the time, sounded fun. <laughs> it sounded like an interesting thing to attempt. So I'm being a guinea pig, self-imposed guinea pig. And where does that saying even come from, of being a guinea pig? Like I know what it means, but... Where did it even come from? Did they used to use it, guinea pigs in science experiments or something? If anybody knows, let me know. Because it, it's a saying we've used for years and years. But I don't actually know the origins of it. And I suspect it must have roots in some sort of factual way that possibly is not so great. But it's like, of all things, why a guinea pig? Like, yeah, I'm curious. Very curious. I've never thought about that before. But I'm certainly curious to know now. Of course, I could just Google it. But, hey, you guys can hook me up if you happen to know what it means or where it comes from. Or why it's even a saying. Right, so just going and getting those edges. And they're nice and raggedy, which is fun. Right, good bit of randomness happening there. I like it. Okay, so let's go ahead now and trim out our three tags. I might do the curvy tops last. Get them separated first. I've got a little rounded corner, slight rounded corner on the bottom. Oh, I'm really loving that. I think that looks cool. Right, this is the tricky part, is seeing where the line is actually to cut because the patterns are quite light. And with the tissue over top, it's not as see-through as I would have expected. See-through enough, though. Just got to take a bit more care. On where I'm cutting. Okay, down this way. I definitely like the randomness of having done the serviette over top on all three at once and not thinking too hard about where I was placing it. Good strip I can use that for something else probably to stamp on oops some of these corners are not so much round as cut angular should I change my scissors or will these be okay I think they're okay. Yes. That's fun. Oh, love it. I love it when an idea works. And when a plan comes together. To quote the A-team. It's dating me, isn't it? Although there's a 
more recent movie of the 18. It's old now, I guess. Uh, but I used to watch the original series on TV back in, I believe it would have been the 80s. Loved that show. Who else used to watch the 18? That was fun. The movie's good too, but it's certainly not like the series. Like the series was fun, but if I watched the series now, I'd probably find it quite cheesy. Um, possibly. I don't know, it's not one I've re-seen as an adult, but my memories of it are great. Oh, I tell you what, I watched, um, when we were on holiday, when we went, had a holiday away in a holiday home back in February, I think it was, um, they had one of the stations on the TV in the holiday home had Baywatch. That's all it was, it was just Baywatch. And I thought, oh, I haven't seen Baywatch since I was a kid. And it's like, I'm going to watch it. Oh, my gosh. I lasted maybe 20 minutes of watching it. And then it went off. Um, I think part of the problem was the way they did it. It, like, broke in really weird places. They'd put an ad in and then they'd break it. And it was never clear where the beginning and ending of an episode was. And it was just bizarre. And that did not help the enjoyment factor. Um, but it was like, yeah, no, let's not revisit this. <laughs> it was good in its time. It was fun. But it's, in, in my experience, has done its dash. Now, I have got inky fingers. Um, and I've just put a little bit of ink there. So I'm going to grab a baby wipe and wipe my fingers so I don't end up with covering everything in messy splodges everywhere because that wouldn't be ideal and it's probably still coming off the napkin because it's you know it probably hasn't dried well enough before I started playing with it so bear that in mind, you might want to give it, you know, a bit of time to dry so you're not transferring ink all over your fingers like I did. Right, so we've got our three tags there. Lay it up with our stamped serviette backing. We've cut them out and let's decorate them up. How are we going for time? Oh, we've got heaps of time. Awesome. Let's play. So, as you know, decorating for me always takes the longest time. So, I've grabbed out a few bits from the printables that are available from Teddy Treasure. And there's this loose label here, which looks like it might fit this one really lovely. So, let's trim this down. I'm not sure whether I want to have the outside of the little ticket label Sometimes I don't know whether they're tickets or labels. I think this is probably a label. Um, I don't know whether I want the outside border or not. So I'm just going to cut it with the border and then see if it fits. And then if I need to, I can cut it down further. So it just takes extra time, but it gives you the option rather than cutting it right down first and then thinking, actually, I could have done with that border left on. And it is a really nice feature as well, that border. And it does fit. Fits really nicely, actually. I like that. So that one can go there. Um, these two, have, this one's got a slightly greeny background. This is more grey. Um, we've got these mini tags here. Which I'm thinking, you know, you don't have to leave it as a tag. You can trim it down into a little something. Um... Not sure. Here's some more. There is an owl running around here somewhere. Where's the owl gone? Do I want the owl on something? There's an owl. Actually, I like that, but covering over this wee label, 
um, because that wouldn't make sense to have two labels. I mean, I guess you could. And essentially this is a label, but I'm using it as more of a focal point. You know, guys, when you have printables and uh, a certain thing, you don't need to keep them as that thing. Like if it's an envelope, for example, you don't have to keep it as an envelope. You could cut out the largest part, which is the front, and turn it into a journal card. You could turn it into a pocket. You know, just because it's an envelope in the kit doesn't mean it needs to stay an envelope. And labels, you can cut out, the, fussy cut the owl out of this if you wanted to, if it was the suitable size for your project. Uh, if you were doing that, then you could cut out this little label and use that as a mini label on something. You know, feel free to cut into things, to experiment, to play. Use them how you need to or how you want to, how you're inspired to. Not necessarily the way that they're given to you. Um, because it's about making it your own. turning, Taking the inspiration, taking the beautiful imagery that you provided in these wonderful digital kits and digital printables and using it your way with your inspiration your take on it I really like that I think that works really well and I don't think it needs anything else except some ink so let's do this one finish it off because I'm very inspired by this one and I just want it to be complete And then we'll look at the other two. So if you're stuck for ideas on how to use a piece of ephemera that's in a kit, start looking at in a different light, how you could use it differently or how you could use parts of it or what you could turn it into um, tags are pretty self-explanatory I guess and we you know we always need a good tag so they're not such an issue but certainly you could take uh, a print off a tag and use it on something else as a focal image or you could cut off the tag top like these for example and you could just use that use that as a little decoration um, you know you can do all sorts of things the sky's the limit for ease, I am just going to grab out my tacky glue and glue this on. Save a bit of time. And make sure it sticks down over top of that serviette. And that covers over that inky mark that I accidentally made with my fingers oops straight would be really nice it's not in the middle i'm not worried about that at all because there's more interest over this side than this side so that's all good we didn't ink this did we so let's go ahead and do that oh this comes up beautifully when it's inked love that uh, this does have a direction uh, because of the shadowing so do make sure that you look for things like that when you're gluing them on so that they make sense and are the right way up it's so easy to to do it the wrong way like I believe me I have done it more than once or twice um, so I'm speaking from experience do take the time to double check which way you're gluing things on you know, I, I certainly have sewed in a signature upside down. I've done that before um, as well. You know, most of us have, I think. We've done that, oops, I'm a dingbat moments. I love that. Pretty simple, but gorgeous. It's got a little vibrary bit happening there. There we go. I could put a tag topper on it, um, but for now I'm just going to pop it aside and let's work on these other two. I'm not sure if I want a tag topper on it or not because I really enjoy the shape of the top and it doesn't necessarily need one. 
so we've got this greeny background so i'm wondering about something like this or the yeah i'm on an owl phase i think let's see what the owl looks like nothing wrong with being on an owl phase i do love owls they are gorgeous Now this one might not work because the head of the owl is up in the curve of the tag so I can't really trim off the the top of the tag because then I'd cut it off right through the eyeballs. I don't think the owl would enjoy that so much but I'm going to cut it out and see what it looks like in its original shape. If it doesn't work I'll just use it somewhere else. Maybe on a journal card or something or a pocket or as a tag to pop into a little pocket. I do like mini ephemera as well. Although I kind of like the way it echoes the top. It's not the same, but it, it still works with the curves. I actually kind of like that, guys. What do you think? Um, I do think it needs something else, though. No, not that. Got some faux stamps here. Let's have a look at one of just trimming it away from the sheet so I don't have to grab the whole sheet. Let's look at this one kind of picks up the ink colour, so maybe we'll go with this one. Check time. Yeah, we're okay. Yes, I do actually like that, but I do think it also needs something else. So maybe a word. We want to stack like that. Or we could go number. I'm just wondering whether we want something round rather than rectangle. Something with a bit of shape because we have got the curves up here as well. It would bring some of those curves into the bottom. Yes, I think so. Although, have we got one that's already cut out? We have got this sort of thing as well. No, definitely like the round. This one's got a little bit of red in it. Which I don't actually mind. Or we've got this one which is black and coffee it's actually the same color ink as what I stamped the tissue with yeah I think that one because it's already cut out the first one was fine but I just thought if I had one cut out it would be quicker and easier okay let's do some inking get this one done I think we're going to get all these three done which is really exciting now do I want Yes, I do want this on the bottom because it's more plain down in that corner. So I think putting the label, the stamp rather, the stamp over top will be beautiful. We want that centered so that it echoes the, the curve. It's not actually white around there, it has actually got some texture and slight color from the printable. Um, but I just want to give it some of the inky color. And I'm using vintage photo for the distressing uh, just to tone it down a bit because it. It has the appearance of looking white, even though it's not. Depends what you stick it on to, whether it looks 
super white or not. If you stuck it on white, you would see that it's not actually white. But it is pale. That's cool. Just give this a little touch around the edge. Even though it's got the black border, it's not perfectly cut out, so that just helps push back the, the bits that I missed or didn't cut properly. And I think I'll put that on an angle so that the word and the number aren't straight, because I like that. just gives it a little quirkiness. I definitely don't think I'd put a tab topper in here because, again, we'd run into the owl. Um, and I don't think, I honestly don't think these little tags need a topper. I think they're very cute as is. Uh, that shape gives them plenty of interest without needing a topper. But if you want a topper, absolutely, you go with a topper. Um, you just position your focal image slightly differently so that you weren't, putting a hole through it, especially if it's an animal or a person. Right, that one's done. So I'm going to go ahead and ink this one just quickly before we choose out what we're going to decorate this one with. And this is the one that's sort of more greyish in the pattern, very subtle. Sort of a, a very pale blue grey, shall we say. Right, get rid of the crumbs. Right, what would we like on this one? Do have some fussy cut birds that we could, or a floral. Oh, there's a poppy there. We've just had Anzac, Anzac Day here. In New Zealand and Australia of course um, that's very appropriate for this so I feel like it might be too small maybe no not feeling fussy cuts at the moment I'm really liking these these ones and I think I'm I'm sort of stuck in the not stuck but you know what I'm trying to say I'm keen on, on how these turned out, so it's like I want to replicate. That's rather sweet. Could we, or we could go this deer. Could we trim off? Could trim off the deer. Let's try these birds down here because they're very sweet. And if they don't look how I want them to, then we could try this deer up here. So these ones are Christmas ones, I believe. Yep, they're a December one, uh, but they're not overtly Christmas. There's one or two in there that's overtly Christmas, um, but generally they've got sort of a more botanical feel, which is just lovely. Makes them useful in many instances. Don't know if I'm fussy cutting on camera or not. Hopefully. I think I need to ink them up to really see and do I trim off I think for this one I want to trim off the top there oops and that was not straight let's try that let's ink it up and see what it looks like it definitely needs to be popped out a bit from the background I think that is very, very sweet, but I am thinking book page or music. Let's try a bit of music. How wide do we want it up there? Whoops, give or take. Very rough. 
need to trim that down a bit, I think. Sorry, I've gone completely quiet while I'm busy thinking about how I want it to look. Push that up a bit. Move this down here. This one might need a topper because I'm feeling like this is very blank and the way I'm composing it, I'm not sure that I will end up resolving that without a topper. So that's okay. I really like that. That's very sweet. Very sweet. What can we pop with it? Let's try a word on this one. Not sure if it's the right option. Although that's not bad. Pleasantness is the word. Oh, I actually like that. The more I look at it, the more I love it. So let's go ahead, commit to it, and then look at what we're going to do at the top. And I think I'll use glue stick for this. Can't remember exactly where I had it, but that's okay. Oh boy, I just love layering things, bits and pieces up. Oh dear, I left my glue open and now it's dried up on me. Excuse me, just getting my pokey tool to unclog my glue nozzle because I was naughty and didn't put the cap on. Hopefully that's got it. Yep, here we go, we're back in business. It's the trouble with the fine nozzles that um, it doesn't take long for them to clog up if you leave the cap off because there's only just such a little bit of glue there it doesn't take long to set it's right down in that corner oh that's such a sweet couple of birds just adorable So I'm thinking about topper, if I put a top on, what am I going to use? Maybe a bit of lace might be the way to go. I don't think my chul would particularly match. The brown might be a little bit too dark for it. Maybe the greeny gold might work. Chul? Not sure. Oops, oh, no, 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 don't stick down yet, you're not straight. Yeah. Rescued before it was too late. Okay. Put my lid on my glue. Let's have a look at a bit of, a bit of lace. this one and see what we think. Oops, looking at the cat fur on my sleeve. No, 
I've got this creamy one. I like the creamy one better for this. Right, go for my alcohol glue and we're just going to glue it on. Once I unplug the glue. Move it on this side and we're done. So I'm glad I went ahead and inked, otherwise I would have forgotten before I put the topper on and it would have been too late. Well, I could have got the rest of it where the topper isn't, but I do like to make sure it's screwed all the way around. There you go, just a little topper and it fills in that space there just perfectly. Well, there we have it. We stamped our bit of serviette and we've used oh, a bit more than a quarter, less than a half in making these three fun little tags that just need a bit of straightening out. They're curling up with the glue, which is all fine. I love it. I think that was very cool. And these cute little tags look adorable so happy to have those to add into journals in the future thanks so much for joining me all the information will be down in the description box uh, links to teddy treasure um what else do i need to link our oh, roxy's weekly challenge uh, which is roxy creations on youtube uh, anything else i don't know if i've forgotten something give me a shout out and i'll pop it in Okay, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little series of projects in today's video. Uh, think about hitting the subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, give me a like, a comment. I love hearing feedback from you guys. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll catch you again in the next video. Take care everybody. Bye.